Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're going to break down the new line of Alpine Stars off road protection, all of which is available at Revzilla.com. So to kick things off, we're going to walk you through th four different pieces of gear in this video. We're going to walk you through the A1 Plus chest protector, which Mission McHugh is wearing on my left hand side, the A4 Max, and then we're going to get up into the Bionic Plus V2 and the Bionic Tech Armor jackets. Now, before we go any further, Mr. McHugh, do me a favor, just hold your left hand up for me. Mr. McHugh has gotten married, so for all you ladies and gentlemen in the audience that leave salacious messages trying to pick this young man up, you've got to stop because he now has a wife at home. So congratulations to Mr. McHugh for getting hitched. Now, he has not changed his sizes. He still stands at a commanding six foot tall, weighs in around 220 pounds and has a 44 inch chest. So as we walk you through how he fits in each of these, just keep that in mind. Now we are gonna kick things off by talking about the A1 Plus, which is the chest protector that Mr. McHugh is wearing on my left hand side. This is gonna come in around the $130 price point. Keep in mind that Revzilla does have the price match guarantee. So for the prices for all of these, you are guaranteed to get the lowest price. But really what you're gonna see here is a CE1 back protector and a foam and TPU chest protector for around that $130 price point. Mr. McHugh, just face backwards for me, just so we can get a look at that first. Now this is gonna be compatible with the BNS neck brace, and this is gonna be a CE1 back protector. Now this is gonna be the smallest of all the back protector options that we're looking for. So if you're going for minimalism, this is gonna be the one to consider because it is gonna be the smallest out of the bunch. McHugh, face forward for me. Now there's four different mounting points for this. So you're gonna have Velcro straps at the top and you can fine tune exactly how that sits. And then you're gonna have straps at the bottom as well. Easy to snap on and snap off. And then those are elastic the same way. So once you have this tightened down, you still have a bit of give. Now, Mr. McHugh, for his sizes, he found himself between the two sizes and there's only two sizes available, a medium large and an extra large 2XL. He actually sized up to the extra large 2XL and then just cinched that down and it fits him spot on. Still has a nice range of motion and room to move. Now you'll also notice here those additional strap down points for the BNS neck brace, but very simplistic in its design. So for something a little bit more protective, a little more uh, beefy, let's move on to the A4 Max. So Mr. McHugh is now wearing the A4 Max, and that's gonna bump you up to around the $170 price point. Now the main talking points here, you're upgrading to a full CE level one chest protector, as well as a CE level one back protector. But now Mr. McHugh face backwards so we can see the coverage. You simply just get a little bit more coverage, and then this is going to you know, be a little bit more ventilated, and you're gonna see that in the webbing that you're gonna have on the back of this. So it just helps to promote a little bit of airflow. Still gonna be compatible with the BNS neck brace. Now, what you will, what you will also notice here, McHugh, face forward and just raise that hand up for me. You are gonna get lateral protection here for in, in foam back protection around the kidneys. Now, this is not gonna be hard protection like we've seen with you know somebody like Liat that has those big bulky um, hard parts underneath. This is gonna be a double layer of foam and it actually serves as an additional mounting point. So the same way we just talked about with the A1, you're gonna have the strap, but now you also have this Velcro that sits underneath that you're gonna use for the actual uh, kidney protectors as well. And then you simply Velcro that back in place snap it down and you're set to go. McHugh face forward. And the same adjustments are going to be in the, uh, in the A4 Max as you saw with the A1 Plus. You're simply getting a bit of extra protection around the kidneys. You're now getting a CE rated chest protector and the whole design is a little bit more sophisticated with those four or those six rather mounting points that you can kind of use to make sure you feel nice and secure. Sizing hasn't changed for Mr. McHugh. He's still in the XL to 2XL size. However, there is a third sizing option. You can now go with an extra small small for this too. For, so for smaller riders, that A1 Plus is probably gonna be too big for you. You can bump up into the A4 Max and you now have that extra small small option, which will be ideal for riders that are gonna be a little bit smaller. So that's gonna wrap up the A1 Plus A4 Max chest protection. Now let's move on to the Bionic series of armored jackets. So we're now gonna move into the Bionic jackets and Mr. McHugh is now gonna be wearing the Bionic Pro V2. Now, a quick note here, these are really designed for off-road enduro adventure riding, meant to be worn underneath a jersey or an outer shell. These are not to be meant to be really worn as standalone jackets on road use. So the A1, the A4 were chest protectors and back protectors really aimed for the motocross crowd where this is gonna be something that's more aimed at enduro off-road dual sport riding. Now I 
say all that because I have actually used the Alpine Stars Bionic Action Jacket. I own two because I bought one, wore it out, and I bought a second one. Now, I opted for that one over the Bionic Tech because the Bionic Tech, I just never felt was comfortable, didn't fit me right. So I'm actually really excited to see the new versions of the Bionic Pro V2 because these are gonna be coming in at a lower price point than the outgoing Bionic Tech. And I find these to be much more comfortable, much more in line with the Alpine Stars Bionic Action Jacket. Now, there's a couple of things that I've seen here that I wasn't quite sure about, that I was a little bit uncomfortable with, and actually using this, um, it, it impressed me. So, starting off with the price point, this is coming in around the $240 mark. You are now gonna have CE rated protection at the chest, the back, the elbows, and the shoulders. You're also gonna have an adjustable kidney belt which is taken right off of their road racing backs, their back protectors, and we'll see that in a minute as we work around to the back. Now, just taking a look at the elbows and shoulders. This is much slimmer, much more sleek. It's a soft foam, so it's getting away from some of those hard plates that you saw with the Bionic Tech, and that was actually one of my biggest gripes with the Bionic Tech, was that those hard plates were just uncomfortable. They didn't sit in place right. The armor was always shifting out of the way on the elbows. So what I thought originally I wasn't gonna like about this was, with my base you know, $150 Bionic Action Jacket, I have these little Velcro straps that roll over the, uh, the forearm and hold the, uh, the armor in place. So I really was afraid that without those straps, this was, armor was gonna move around. Trying this on, getting to play with it, the armor stays in place probably better than any of the armor jackets that I've seen yet. Not just from Alpine Stars, I've owned quite a few of these um, from other brands as well. This does a really good job of holding the elbow armor in place. The shoulder armor is pitched forward a little bit. When you're riding through the woods, it's to really kind of help and prevent the, the branches from smacking into your shoulders. My one gripe here, McHugh, face that way for me, is that in the event of a crash, you're losing a little bit of the coverage area on the back. So if you take a tumble and you land on a rock on the back here, um, that is gonna be a little bit more exposed. So what I would love to see in the future is maybe a little bit more coverage area on the shoulders. Um, but for really what I'm seeing on the elbows, because the elbows is one of my biggest fail points, really they get an A plus for this armor staying in place. Now, if I wear this for you know two years, if this material starts to stretch out, I'm not sure if it'll stay in place there, but my initial impressions are you know really great job with that. Now, the Q, go ahead and face all the way back for me. CE rated back protector at the back. It is gonna be accepting that BNS neck brace, and if you want that off, this, uh, or if you wanna utilize this, this whole assembly comes off the top. You would actually remove that, throw that out of the way, and then the neck brace would, would fit down on top of this. You'll also notice I was talking about that kidney belt, which is removable if you want to. Um, I wouldn't recommend that, but it is height adjustable. And this is gonna be something that they, again, brought right from their, their road racing uh, standalone back protectors. You can move that kidney belt up and down to fine tune exactly where the back protector sits on your persons. Once you have this on and in, it feels like second skin against you. I really like how tight this is. McHugh, you can go ahead and face forward. You can see the kidney belt is down here. You also have these Velcro straps, which actually I was trying to do that from the wrong area. So these actually Velcro on the top as well as the bottom. So one of the gripes that I actually had with my Bionic Action is that because it was only Velcro on the top, it, would, it kept coming undone. So the fact that you have Velcro on the, on the bottom and then it gets another secure layer on top really helps to hold everything in place. Like that design a lot. And then you, again, you have Velcro straps at the top um, to really kind of fine tune exactly where the chest protector and where the whole outfit sits on you. Now, from a sizing perspective, up until this point, there's been limited sizes to two to three sizes. McHugh's been in the extra large 2XL option. You now have sizes that range from small up to, uh, up to a 2XL, and Mr. McHugh's actually going to be wearing a size large. So just keep that in mind um, and use that in correlation with the size chart. For example, in the Alpine Stars Bionic Action Jacket, I would be a extra large, so would Mr. McHugh. We both sized down to the large for this one, so it does fit a little bit more generous than the previous versions that we've seen from this. And again, you want it nice and snug. This should not be loose in any way. It should hug your body so that armor stays in place. So this is the Bionic Pro V2. Let's take a look at the final option, which is the Bionic Tech V2. So the final piece of gear in Alpine Star's arsenal is going to be the Bionic Tech V2. Now, we just talked about the Bionic Pro. That is an all new offering slotted in between the Bionic Action and the Bionic Tech. 
the Bionic Tech V2 is actually replacing the old Bionic Tech jacket. And the reason I, I didn't buy that one originally, and the reason I went for the more affordable Bionic Action wasn't because of the price, was because I tried out the original Bionic Tech, the chest protector, I felt like it was cutting me in the throat. I tried sizing down, I tried sizing up, I could never get it to fit me correctly. This changes all of that. So the Bionic Tech V2 really, in my opinion, is a completely new jacket than what the outgoing one was and it's more affordable. The old one was sitting around the $300 price point. This actually drops you down to around $270, so less money, more comfortable, and a lot more protection. So just taking a look at this, you now have CE level two chest and back protection, as well as CE one elbow and shoulder included. What you're gonna have is you're gonna have adjusters that adjust via Velcro, and then they snap into place. So once you set the adjustment, those will set into place. You're gonna see you've now gotten away from Velcro for the mount for the, for the bottom of the chest protector, and you're gonna have a snap that snaps into place. You can then adjust that. You're gonna have the kidney belt as well. You'll notice when we get to the back, it's that same height adjustable kidney belt. But the real change here is some of the foam padding and then the way the armor sits into place. So McHugh, face sideways for me, and just hold the arm up a little bit so we can see the outside of this. So you're gonna have this abrasion resistant material which is gonna sit on the outside of the elbow protector. Now, this is not, again, intended for road use, but if you've ever used this stuff off-road, you know that you know if you hit a rock or a tree really hard, you can shear through a jersey and start to wear through to the armor really quickly on your Under Armour rigs. So this is just to give you an extra layer of abrasion resistance before you get down into the, uh, the armor itself. It's now a soft armor. So you've gotten away from the hard armor and you've now got this soft armor, much more comfortable, stays in place. Um, you know, and again, I've used more expensive rigs from other brands and the biggest problem that I have is I crash and the armor for the elbow shifts out of the way. So I've been super jazzed with how this does actually stay in place. Again, same concerns with the Bionic Pro, whether or not this stretches out over time is yet to be seen. You're now gonna have the armor on the, uh, on the shoulder is actually now split. It's a more comfortable, softer armor, CE1 still, but it moves with you. So as Pat, just go ahead and swing your arm back and forth there for a second. Um, you'll notice I stepped out of the way because I was afraid you're gonna swing too far in the back direction and hit me somewhere I didn't wanna be hit. Um, but what you'll notice here is that this actually does move with you, super comfortable when you're wearing it, and it's not as bulky as what was found on even the, you know, the Bionic Action or the Bionic Tech. So real step up there. Go ahead and face backwards for me. You're gonna have the plate. You can pull that off if you want to for the BNS neck brace. You will notice you are gonna have that adjuster at the, uh, at the back for this if you wanna adjust that kidney belt. This is gonna be a CE2 rated back protector now, um, but the whole material is gonna be a stretchable bre or a stretchy breathable material. McHugh, you can face forward. If I sound like I'm excited about this, I am, because this is gear that I wear all the time um, when I'm riding off road. I have been a huge fan of the Alpine Stars Bionic Action Jacket. I am really jazzed to see that the changes that they've made to the Bionic Tech really take it um, into a whole new level as far as I'm concerned. Improved comfort, improved protection, something you can really wear all day and, uh, and feel like it's, it's not strangling you. Same thing with the sizing on this. Mr. McHugh is in a large, sizes will range from a small up to a 2XL. Um, the sizing chart can be a little bit confusing, so just keep that in mind. We gave his measurements at the beginning, and he is gonna be at a large in this. You want it nice and snug against your body. So that is gonna wrap up the new line of Alpine Stars off-road protection that we're seeing. If you want more information from what other riders are using and how they find this gear to handle itself, you can click the little info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read other rider reviews from folks that are out there using this off-road. And if you want more information from a Gear Geek's perspective as to what gear is right for you and the style of riding you're doing, you can always give them a shout, 877-792-9455 or simply shoot an email over to CS at revzilla.com. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Alpine Stars off-road line of protection. I'm Spurge. This is I Am Married Now McHugh. Enjoy the ride.